Welcome to group meeting three of the Sacred Us. I hope you're having fun. Give somebody a high five next to you. Say, I'm so glad I joined your group and not that other weird guy from the church. No, I'm just kidding. I hope you're having a good time. I hope that you're growing in relationship. Today is an exciting gathering because we're talking about the first principle that's outlined in this book on biblical community. And it's one of my favorite. It's the principle that proximity provides opportunity. Proximity provides opportunity. I love what it says on page eight of your group handbook here. It says, better is a neighbor who is near than a brother who is far away. In other words, sometimes being close just matters more. And so proximity provides opportunity. What does that mean? It means that I'm thankful for Zoom. I'm thankful for the phone. I'm thankful for the internet that keeps me connected to friends all over the world. But sometimes you just need somebody to show up. You need somebody close, somebody nearby, and God uses proximity as a great opportunity. And in this chapter in the book, we talk a little bit about storge love. Now, you may not be familiar with that, but the New Testament uh, has four different words in the Greek language to describe love, right? And many of us are familiar with the first three, right? The first one, agape love. This is God's love, sacrificial love, divine love. We'll talk about that later in one of the other sessions. But then you've got romantic love, right? That's eros love. And then you've got a friendship love, right? Everybody loves that one, friendship love. Yeah, phileo, it's where we get the word Philadelphia. But then there's this Greek word storge. And this is a word to describe love between family members. And storge love is the love that you grow for a person you didn't choose. All right. This is the love between a mom and her child, a love between uh, a brother and a sister. So you didn't get to choose your mom. You didn't get to choose the personality of your kid. You didn't get to choose your sister or your brother. You're just stuck with them, right? But as you grow with them, you will realize that the person that maybe annoyed you the most often is the catalyst to help you grow more like Christ. Storge love is learning to love the one you didn't choose. And in the body of Christ, that's part of our maturity. And that happens through proximity. And so maybe you've joined this group and you're just getting going and it's just the first few weeks and you're already like, I don't really like these people. Well, I want to urge you, finish the process because oftentimes it's in the process of hanging with those who aren't quite like you that you discover that God's working through those relationships. And so we're going to explore this idea of proximity and how important it is to actually make time to be physically present with one another. And that's why this group is such an essential part of growing in our relationship with God and with his people. Let me pray for you and you are gonna just have a blast diving into the content today. God, I thank you for this truth that proximity provides opportunity. I pray that as we dig into it today, that you would draw us closer together and that you would knit our hearts together. Do a great work in this group right now, in Jesus' name. 